In this presentation, we will set up payroll items related to garnishments and union dues. Here we are in the... For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. The home page, we currently have the open windows open. In order to open the open windows, go to the view dropdown and select the open windows list. We're going to go to the lists and go to the payroll items lists in order to add these items. So we're going to go to the lists drop down, payroll items lists. If you're working in the free version of the payroll, you may want to go through the interview process, which would be under employees and the employee setup. We are currently in the paid version of the payroll. We're going to select the payroll item here and we're going to scroll up to new item. And we're going to select the easy setup process. I'm going to go next. And we're going to be down here this time into the other, uh, other deductions, which are going to be garnishments and union dues. So we will then select that and say next. Here is our setup wizard. We have the garnishment explanation here. A wage garnishment is usually initiated by a court order. For example, let's say employee is behind uh, in payments to a lender, the lender may get uh, get via court order part of the salary of the employee and get it directly from the employer. So type of garnishment, we're usually required to pay uh, based on a court order or something like that. So that's the first one we'll set up. Let's set up a garnishment. We could do these at the same time, but I'm going to set up one at a time here and look at those items one at a time. So then we're going to say next. And we're just going to say... The vendor, just set up a vendor. It's going to be Garn Vendor. And say next and finished. So we then should set up this garnishment. I'm going to say open. I'm going to make this a full screen so we can see the garnishment. Here is the wage garnishment there. It's going to be a deduction item. So now we're going to set up the union due in the similar process. We're going to go to the payroll item drop up and we're going to go to a new payroll item going to say next I'm going to we're going to select the garnishment and union dues and say next once again same screen we're going to select this time the union dues and you can see that similar similar type of activity if we had the donations and other miscellaneous deductions where you can take a look at what is included in those items as well going to say next and set up the union dues we're just going to say union vendor and next that's going to be the item and we'll set up those once again going to make this full screen so we can see them there's the union due so these two should be similar in nature as we run the payroll we're going to set these up for our one employee by going to the employee center and employee and then employee center and then we have anthony moore and we're going to say hey anthony another month another payroll activity change we have here we're going to go to the payroll information and this time add the garnishment so we're going to select the item drop down and we are looking for the garnishment and the union dues here's the union dues and then if we go so i got the union dues here if we go to the garnishments uh there's a long list you can't see all of them probably here but there's the union dues and the garnishment. you could just start typing them in and they'll, they'll populate here so uh, they should be in the drop down once we add them. The union dues, we're just going to say are $30. And the garnishments, we're going to have to say, sorry, Anthony, they, we got a court order that we got to pay this garnishment. And let's say that's 300 here for the garnishment. And so we're going to say, OK. And now we're set up and we're going to run the payroll next time with the union dues and the garnishments and compare and contrast it to the prior payrolls run without the union dues and the garnishments. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.